Hi everyone, in this video I will be creating a bridal makeup look. This is a modern bridal look, that's what I call it. It is a sort of Charlotte Tilbury inspired. The color palette for this look is very very simple. I used colors that look good on my skin tone, basically copper and bronzy tones. These enhance my features without going overboard. Now you can also wear this look if you are a wedding guest or a bridesmaid. So let's get started. I will be starting off with a moisturizer. For this, I will be using the Gush Beauty Glow Getter Illuminating Moisturizer. This moisturizer gives a beautiful glow to your skin. It can also be a dupe of the MAC Strobe Cream in pink light. This is a moisturizer, illuminator and a primer all in one. Overall, it's a really good product to use before you apply anything and you need to leave it on your skin for a couple of minutes before going in with any primer or foundation. For primer, I will be using the K-Beauty Color Correcting Primer in Orange. I have the new liquid correctors and I will be trying them in the next video with a few more new products. For now, I am going to focus this primer under my eyes and around my mouth. This has not got a lot of pigment, it just has a slight tint of orange. For my foundation, I will be mixing the NYX Total Control Pro in Classic Tan and the K-Beauty Hydrating Foundation in 150 White Tan. I am going to apply a single layer of this all over my face using the Real Techniques Mineral Complexion Sponge. I will also be applying some on my neck so that my neck matches my face. Just a light layer, not too much. After this, I will be building up the foundation to cover my pigmentation. Always use a brush for this, never use a sponge. The brush actually covers the pigmentation. The sponge will just absorb a lot of product. Hence reducing coverage. You can apply the first layer of foundation with a sponge but try to use a brush for concerns like this like for covering hyperpigmentation or dark circles. You will get more coverage that way. For cream contour, I will be using the Blue Heaven Strobe and Shape Contouring and Highlighting Stick. I am going to use the contour side and place some product on my forehead. You can apply a little extra while using this product as this blends into the skin and it isn't too pigmented. For cheekbones, I will be placing it a little bit above the actual hollow under my cheeks. There will be a lot of blending because of which the colors move down and I want a lifted look so I will be placing it a little high on both sides. Then I will be applying a little bit on my jawline and I will also be contouring my nose today. I'm using a pack brush to blend out the contour. Normally I would apply the concealer and then blend in the contour followed by the concealer. But the concealer that I will be using today doesn't agree with that. It sets really quickly and has high coverage so I need to blend the contour first. It's a little bit difficult to apply makeup on myself. If I had to create this on someone else, I could have done it more easily and less time because I see myself in a mirror which looks completely different from when I check out the footage. I'm kind of worried about the symmetry because I have an asymmetric face and a noticeable one and I really wanted to take pictures from the front angle especially for this video. So all of that goes on in the back of my head and it makes it a little bit difficult to do this look on myself. Anyways, for concealer, I will be using the Sugar Magic Wand Concealer in Chococino. This concealer has very high coverage and that's why I'm applying tiny dots on my under eyes. It's also a brightening shade for me, so I will be using it for highlighting the center of my face. I will be blending the concealer with a brush because I don't want to lose coverage. To set my face, I will be using the Kiro Botanico Timeless Matte Compact. This one is in the shade Honey Tan. You must have seen me using it so many times. It is one of my favorite compacts. It mattifies and it provides beautiful skin-like finish. It doesn't make your skin look 100% matte. It adds a soft, silky and smooth texture providing a blurred, soft focus and matte finish. On top of that, it is made up of 99% naturally derived ingredients. This can be used by all skin types. It's 100% vegan and cruelty free. In fact, all the products I will be using in today's video are cruelty free and most of them are vegan as well. For eyebrows, I will be using the Sugar Arch Rival Micro Brow Pencil. I will be making hair like strokes in the sparse areas and filling in the rest of the brow because I want them to look more defined to go with the eye look. To set my brow hair in place, I will be using the NYX Control Freak Brow Gel. 
After this, I will be using a shade from the Cuffs and Lashes Sculpted Contoured and Chiseled Palette and I will be applying it into my crease. I'm using an eyeshadow stick for my eyelid today so I want the transition to be flawless. The stick has a very metallic, shiny, bronzy kind of finish and I want it to blend with the matte shade. That's why I am using a couple of shades from this palette into my crease before going in with the eyeshadow stick. I will also be winging out the matte shades for creating this bronzy, smoked out effect. For the eyeshadow stick, I will be using the Kiro Long Wearing Brightening Eyeshadow Stick in Sandy Copper. This is the best eyeshadow stick I have. It's long lasting, it doesn't crease, it's waterproof, easy to blend and it has an intense color payoff. It will stay on your eyelid for the entire night without creasing and drying out your eyelid. The application is very easy, you can apply it and blend it out with a brush. This eyeshadow stick makes the eye look so effortless and the best thing is that there is zero fallout and you get this metallic edgy look. I hate fallout the most, it destroys my base makeup. This color is very unique, you should definitely give it a try if you are my skin tone. Now this is a brown shade with bronze pearl. It's the most hassle free eyeshadow you can have. After applying this directly from the stick, I will be using a brush to blend out the edges into the matte brown shade. I will also be applying the eyeshadow stick on my lower lash line. After this, I am using the Kiro High Definition Soothing Eyeliner Pencil in Earth Brown to line my eyes. This is not very visible when applied on top of the eyeshadow stick, but if you want a matte brown look, you can apply it close to your lashes and blend it out, just buff it out into a smoky look. I will also be applying the pencil in my waterline here of the eyeshadow stick, but if you want a matte brown look, you can apply it close to your lashes and blend it out, just buff it out into a smoky look. I will also be applying the pencil in my waterline here. After this, I am using the Kira eyeshadow stick in peachy gold for my inner corner. For false eyelashes, I will be using the red cherry false eyelashes in 3D by 54. These are really good false eyelashes. For contouring my face, I will be using the Cuffs and Lashes Sculpted Contour and Chisel Palette. And I am going to contour my face with a warm brown matte shade to go with the whole copper theme. This palette has some amazing shades for all skin tones. You can also mix shades and you can use it on your face and eyes. I'm not using a lot of powder contour because most of the contouring job was done by cream contour For blush, I have the Swiss Beauty Professional Blusher in Glaze Bronzing. It's a very lightweight blush with a silky texture. It also gives a subtle glow to your skin. Now for setting my face, I will be using the Pack Microfixer Makeup Setting Spray. Always use a setting spray before going in with a powder highlighter. It just makes your powder highlighter pop. For my highlighter, I am using the Pack Killer Glow Highlighter in the shade Old Rose. I am going to apply it on the high points of my face, that is cheekbones, on the tip of my nose, Cupid's Bow Chin, and I will also be placing a little bit on my brow bone. For lip liner, I am going to use my favorite brown lip liner. This is the K Beauty Matte Action Lip Liner in the shade Fame. And for lipstick, you definitely want to use a nude lip shade to go with this whole look. Here I am using the Kiro Non-Stop Airy Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Cinnamon Nude. This lipstick has a very velvety texture, it's transfer proof and it's non-drying. It's also long lasting. It has a lasting power of about 6 to 8 hours. It starts fading from the inside of your lips when you eat something oily. And that's it, this is the full glam with all the jewelry and everything. The contact lens I'm wearing here is from Zolotica, this linga is from Mohe and I got all this jewelry from a local store. I will see if I can find similar jewelry online. And this is the whole zoomed out look. Hope you guys find this video helpful. If you like the video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.